It's gone down straight away. It's gone high in the air. Now, is this a wicket first ball? It should be a wicket first ball. That is a wicket first ball. What a start that is for South Africa. That's taken me completely by surprise. Cries of catch it. I think it's Markram again. He's got another one to, to pouch, and he has. Turn a two for him, turn a two for him. Yeah, brilliant this from South Africa. Exactly what they'd have wanted. Lost the first T20. That's uh, work down a third man. Soft hands. Hafiz has got off the mark with a boundary. Edge and four. Not an ideal way to bring up a boundary, but Barbarazan we know is a class X, so this was an aberration. Uh, so with an infield for four. Couple of sweep shots that worked perfectly for Pakistan. Another good over from them. Flick into the gap for four. That is beautifully picked up off his pads. Once again, wrong line from a South African bowler. Can't bowl them there. Especially if you're bowling to a subcontinent style batsman. Yeah! Gone. There's an edge there. And guess who? Once again, what a day he's having. George Linda. And he has to be on his way. 68 for three. South Africa looking good at this stage. Shot. That's beautifully played. It's a bit of a freebie, but you still got to put it away. And Heather Ali begins with a four. A bold. The ball, he bowls that, but it's expertly played. It's dug out, and the third man's up in the circle, and it'll go for four. The other man, this has popped up in the air. Could land in no man's Georgie. land. No, it won't. Yeah. And that's the catch taken. George Linder again into the action. It really has his, been his day. And once again, it's Shamsi. He's rated number one in the world. Who picks up another wicket in the middle overs. Magala again. And that's not the ideal start again to that over. Shame. You do feel for him. He's struggling a little bit here with his line, with his confidence. Maybe with some self-belief at this stage. Last over was a 12 over delivery. I mean, a 12 delivery over, should I say. Slower bouncer, but that's a little uppercut from Baba Azam, and that's gone for four. Short, straight to the man though, should be out, is out, Linda in the game again, he was in the game with wickets right at the start of this innings, he's in the game with catches now at the end. Arsenal's uh, clubbed that one down towards the boundary line, is it going to be out? It's not, it's six runs, that's a good club. Oh, that's a great start. Now, this might be out this time. Straight to the man at long off. Williams is, oh, Williams is waving him goodbye. He's picked up a wicket. Hassan Ali won't forget that one, perhaps. Yeah, it's pretty needless. Whipped away, just the one. Middle, 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 look at me, middle. Gets a 50, Barbara Azam. Yet another 50 for Pakistan skipper. him big screen from Agala it's been a tough day for him after that first over I think he's come back pretty well though Barbara Azam getting a 50 and getting out one two eight for seven there's a neck and another wicket Williams again picked himself up three wickets now Nawaz's poor run with the bat continues he's got to solid shot Nicely struck, gone for four. Really good shot indeed from Afridi. Oh, easy run out, easily done at the non-striker's end. No communication between the two and so Pakistan suffer further. 139 for nine. Last ball. 
again it's that Yorker length you can't do too much with it that's the bottom line you can have all the variations but the Yorkers are always terrific to bowl in limited overs cricket good work from Magala five runs off that last over he came back nicely actually very good work from him and in the end Pakistan have uh, just got themselves 140 that's all they've ended up with off there a lot of 20 overs well, that's nicely worked. That's a very good shot indeed. That's going to be a comforting boundary. Goes down this time, and he goes dead straight for six. That is a wonderful shot. Beautifully struck from Markram. Had to go with that one. There is a man down there, but... That has gone too far. Six runs. What a shot that is. 143 k's per hour. Whipped on the leg side for six. Three overs gone. 26 for none. Over the top. A couple of bounces and that scoots away for another boundary. Now that's gone quite high and it should be out. It is out. Hassan Ali enjoyed that, I think. Got a little bit of hammer of the first ball, but he struck with his third. So they needed that Pakistan, and they've got the dangerous Yanamam Malan out. There's a shot. That's a nice shot. Yan Laba for four. 50 up. And out. Well, doesn't believe in wasting time. Big shot over cover. That is such a good connection. Goes all the way for six. There's always something special about that drive over cover for six. And another four, this time outside eight. Things working extremely well for Markram. Not started well there. Not started well at all. Markram with a big six to bring up 50. 53 from just 28 balls. Good aggression from the big, strong right-hander. That's big shot. That really is huge. Not clearing the fence. Found the fielder. So leg spinner getting rid of... Klassen there looking to go. It was Markram there backing himself. This time they believe they've got their man in the half. Akron Bullion makes his way off the ground, goes to the sweep shot, and Usman Kadir is having an impact here for Pakistan. Oh, great shot. The length was given by Kadir. And the left hand are turning the ball into him. There's talk of two here as well, but it's going to be much better than that. It's going all the way to the boundary. There was a mention of a couple. And it's doubled that. This is good from Klaassen. That's up in the air. Looking to go down the ground is George Linder. Oh, it's, it's a misfield. He lost the ball in the air. It's the light blue sky that might have got him with the bite ball in the air. Yeah, Sergio Khan, I think he's the guilty party. Austin goes hard off that and picks up another boundary. It's a drag away. Kadir has been guilty so far through the one-day series and the T20s of too many loose deliveries. Linda goes after that one and middles it as well. Another one will be into the grandstands. So this is the big over for South Africa. 15 runs from it, just the four deliveries. And in touching distance, just two runs away from leveling the series. Quick single and they get through easily in the end. And that wraps it up for South Africa. Andre Klaas and his young charges have done superbly well to level the series. Having lost the toss, Pakistan deciding to bat first, only accumulated 140, and it's been a convincing run chase.